let me see what I can do to try to summarize this. Um, first of all, we heard that there are multiple types of utility that contribute to clinical utility and um, that CSER can contribute to. And we heard from Ewan about um, trying to have this group focus on the technological aspects of um, genome sequencing that would make sure that, as we've heard about already this morning, that things like structural variation and repeats are given special attention in, in CSER 2.0 because of their possible clinical uh, relevance and their overrepresentation in that. Um, and uh, maybe that will relate to some questions of exome versus genome uh, sequencing. Uh, and we uh, heard about maybe one method, uh, maybe related to the technological aspects, is to have CSER link to uh, other resources or perhaps to consider um, funding uh, within CSER more work on interpreting functional variants, uh, the, the functional consequence of variants in laboratory models um, that would be able to link uncharacterized variants to more functional uh, studies and make sure to keep track of any relevant uh, clinical information for those uh, characterized variants and that it would be helpful to uh, to specify how to make connections with other programs looking at functional significance. Um, so we, we talked about utility basically being an, an examination of benefits versus risks of using the genetic results and a little bit about uh, whether that should be assessed at the level of the individual or at a larger uh, healthcare system or societal level and questions were asked about how big the clinical benefit needs to be. I noticed that pharmacogenetics got singled out there. I guess I would put that in a higher category of importance than it sounded um, like maybe, maybe it was. Um, and including things like giving value to is there, is there a value to making a diagnosis even if it's not terribly uh, clinically uh, actionable. And uh, in this context of trying to figure out clinical utility, the point was raised that genetics often holds itself to a, a higher standard than other parts of medicine and maybe <coughs> Caesar could consider um, encouraging work that would have comparative effectiveness of genetic intervention versus um, other interventions that are widely uh, adopted in medicine. Um, yet Caesar's done a good job of uh, measuring outcomes in some randomized trials, relatively small trials, but uh, they're seen as value in continuing those kinds. Of, of randomized trials, even if the outcomes are things like do you make a do, new diagnosis, uh, but also to deepen um, Caesar's evaluation of outcomes in the future to include assessments of morbidity and mortality, to be able to do deeper phenotyping and repeat phenotyping on patients with rare uh, genotypes and um, to explore the utility of aggregating uh, methods or uh, develop methods for aggregating rare genotypes for phenotypes. Um, we didn't talk a lot about, but it was mentioned, uh, the importance of CSER dealing with population screening and maybe that's where uh, preemptive screening for pharmacogenetics is something that could also um, be of interest for CSER as it goes forward. And it was mentioned that uh, in the future for clinical utility evaluations, having CSER open to other groups would also be helpful. Are there? Great, thank you very much to the panel. Um, I think we're ready to break for lunch.